Hello again! Today we're going to be talking about the 3x3 Dynamic Video Wall Controller. Brought to you by Multimonitors.com, SuperPC, LLC. These controllers you can power up to 9 monitors with one easy to use piece of hardware. You have the ability to create any configuration that you want. Even if you don't have all 9 monitors yet, it's still a good idea if you plan on it in the future to go ahead and invest in one of these controllers. You can easily do a 2x2, 3x2, 3x3, 2x3, 4x2, or anything in between. You have several different ways that you can use this controller. There's obviously a cloning mode right here. What that does is allows you to be able to send one image to all 9, which would be the opposite of the full video wall where you'd be spreading one image to all nine of the monitors. Obviously the other ones we've already talked about in the previous slide. Let's discuss for a second best ways to be able to use the controller. So if you have all nine of your monitors you're gonna want all of them to be together in whichever way that you have them set up. So I mean personally I love these 3 by 3 stands that we sell. I think they're amazing, and when you get them set up, they're really, I mean, it's really phenomenal. Just the clarity and crispness, and just how amazing everything really looks. You could also put them on the wall, too. We sell wall mounts. It's not a terrible option by any means. Let's see here. So this is a pretty straightforward and easy-to-use design. So I was on the back. We'll take a look at that first. You have all nine of your outputs. These would be what's powering each of the displays, the image that's going to them. Here you have your input section. So you have your USB, HDMI, VGA, etc, etc. And on the front you can switch between what input is actually being used at the time. You can't use several at once, but you could have multiple things plugged in and you could easily switch between them to be able to power all of your monitors. Uh, these buttons are designed to be able to tell the controller and relate to the programming how you have your monitors set up so it knows how to be able to provide the image to them. Let's go over the spec sheet a little bit here. So as far as the input resolution, the max resolution you build be input would be through HDMI. That's going to be 1080p at 60 Hz. As far as the output, the output is the same. Uh, these are not very large pieces of hardware at all. Uh, you can tell here from the size, it's it's, it's roughly the same size as a, a standard Blu-ray player. Um, through the USB section, it's good to notice how many things this actually supports. I mean, it, basically anything you could do over your phone, you could just broadcast directly through this. And that's an incredible feature to be able to take advantage of. But I appreciate everybody watching the video. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll put the item link in the description. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and put in the stand link in case someone is looking to be able to get the complete package for both of these. I'd highly recommend those stands. They're absolutely phenomenal. I can't stress that enough. And on behalf of SuperPC, LLC, I hope to hear from you soon. Have a good day.